So this bit of news um, pissed me off. Yeah. And made me go on a huge rant on Facebook. It's probably gonna make me go on a huge rant here. Uh, we'll see how the water flows. Um, two days ago, it was two nights. Two nights ago, um, we're, we were talking about Ghostbusters just now. Leslie Jones, um, again, one of the stars of the new Ghostbusters movie. Uh, well, let, let's massive, backtrack just massive backlash. Let's backtrack a minute. First, um, let's do a little public service announcement. We do not, I know we do a lot of joking on this show. Um, we're just two guys, very laid back, having fun. We don't mean anything by our jokes or anything. No. If you take offense to our jokes, sorry, um, we're not, you know, we, we don't mean to offend anybody, uh, except for him just now farting in my store. That offends me. Uh, um. But what what isn't cool is racism of any kind, whether it's racism, whether it's uh, black being, on white, white on black, being bullied. Period. Right. I'm not for no. at all. We were both bullied in school growing up. Um, I mean, and I get and I get told a lot from uh, a friend of mine. Uh, I'm giving a shout out to Alan. Uh, a lot of times, I'll make a joke that him and I will laugh at because he knows that I'm not. You know, I'm not racist or anything like that. I was raised the proper way. I was raised, you're human, you're human, you know. So I'll, I might, I'll sometimes say a joke and he'll have to correct me on it, you know, even though he knows. So it's, we don't ever mean to offend anybody with our right. joking back and forth. Um, so that being said, um, my heart goes out to Leslie Jones. Yeah. Because if you haven't heard, um, she had a huge amount of backlash uh, of just being downright uh, bullied, um, slandered, um, <coughs> from, every, uh, from everything from being told that she's no good because she's a woman, she's no good because she's black, uh, her acting sucks, she's not funny, and I'll go on record, yes, Ghostbusters was actually the first time I kind of found her funny, but I never, you know, discredited her as a comedian, um, and she's new, she's upcoming. What's worse is none of her fellow cast members came on Nobody, to support her. N not till the next, not when until it hit the news. That's what when it became mainstream media. That's when her friends decided to come to her rescue. No, I don't care uh, who you are. Um, there, uh, kudos to the fans who did come out and try, you know, try to get her back. Yeah. However, I can kind of understand, like, if you know Chris and Wig and. Kate McKinnon and them aren't really on Twitter all that much. They might not have seen it. I, I thought of that. I thought of that. But, you know, with the new movie coming out, you know they're going to be on Twitter at least once a day Yeah. to promote it. Um, if you don't like the movie, that's fine. You want to bash the movie? Bash the movie. But these are real people. These, uh, you know, yeah, they're famous, they're out there, they're celebrities, but they're still real people with real, real feelings, feelings um, doing her job. You know, she may have not liked the script, she may have liked the script regardless, she needed a paycheck, whatever. She's, a, she's an actor doing, an actress doing her job. Right. If you don't like her, why are you on her Twitter? Yeah. Why are you going to, you know, why are you just going to go on it to be an asshole? Um, uh, it, it's a bunch of internet trolls living in mommy's basement trying to be tough because they're tired of their own miserable lives. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I, again, I, I'm not a huge Leslie Jones fan. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen her a few times on SNL. I don't like her car commercial, but I did like her in Ghostbusters. I thought she was funny. And you know, I am uh, guilty of slightly making fun of her whenever I first found out she was going to be on Ghostbusters. One of the first episodes back when the Ninja Turtle sign was our background, I called her the Amazon, the big Amazon. And we did mention that she was, but we're, I mean, by no means, you know, um, did we did we mean no. any malice intent? No. Like we said, anytime we make a joke, that's what it is. It's a joke. Right. Um, if we offend anybody, of course we'll apologize. Please, you know, let us know. But if you're watching our show, you know, you by now, you should know what to expect. Right. Um, 
But, I mean, there's no reason to bash anybody. There's no reason to say, hey, you look like a dude, you look like a girl, you look, whatever the names they were saying. I started getting, I started reading them. Yeah. I, I was getting too, I didn't finish. The the first one I saw was, um. She looked uh, like a dude. I think there was one that called, she said they looked like a dude. The one I saw had an ape comment. Yeah. Which kind of pissed me off. Um, we are, we are in 2016. Right. Um. We were supposed to have grown at this point. We have not. Um, everybody, sh I mean, this is totally getting off of the whole comic book geekdom thing here. Um, but we're supposed to have been grown by now. Mm -hmm. And call me conspiracy man, whatever. The mainstream media has gone out of their way to um, to make sure that we're still hating this person and that person who we're supposed to like, who we're supposed to vote for, yeah. who we're supposed to, you know, um, who we're supposed to believe. And here we are. We're still shooting each other. Yeah. We're still playing the race war. We're still playing the race game. We're still playing, you know, and it's sad. We're not, we should not be here. No. We're supposed to be more involved at this point. Yeah. Um, we should have been more. We should have been more this, involved. By then, Maybe by not then. me, because right now I kind of look at a, a Neanderthal, like, <laughs> but you know, don't let me take the shirt off. That's bad. Anyway, um, but we're not. It's sad. Um, I, I, I've been on the phone a few times with my friend who who's black and has been pulled over by the cops, not really doing anything. So that's pissed me off uh, countless a few times. But this, th this has gone beyond, um, this, this has gone beyond anything else at this point. No, she hasn't been shot by an innocent uh, white person, but she might as well have been. Because these are multiple shots by white people at a, at, at, who I'm sure is a very lovely lady in person. And these, She seems like a big sweetheart. She does. Like, again... I, just because I haven't seen her in anything other than Ghostbusters where she's funny doesn't mean she's not. Right. I just haven't caught the right, you know. Um, so, I mean, I mean, if, and if you're watching the show and you disagree with us, don't watch anymore. Yeah. I personally don't want you to watch anymore. If you're a hater on this woman, if you were one of the people on Twitter, I don't want you to watch anymore. No. Uh, if you have a problem with anything I have to say... I want you to come here to my store, and this is the, the not a shameless promo. This is a 2924 North Mountain King Junior Drive. Come to my store and face me like a man. Come right here on the show. We will talk about what your problem is. We've said this countless times. Mm -hmm. Now it's about if you don't like what we have to say. You know, I consider myself, politically, I consider myself a conservative. But more than that, I'm a free thinker. I've been guilty on numerous occasions of, you know, like when my shit got stolen a few weeks ago by a couple of hood rats, you know. <clears throat> I've been guilty of thinking certain racial things. You know, I, I'll be completely honest about that. Do I consider myself a racist? No. But in the heat of the moment, when you're that upset about something... Someone really did you wrong like that. And does that bother you, though? That, that was, that's what you thought. Yeah, it, it does bother me. And it bothers you because that is the way we're conditioned to think from the moment we're born. Not that we have bad parents. Society and media in general has put that kind of put that into our heads. And again, we should have been involved, at the, you know, beyond that at this point. Um, there are things on my page that I'm guilty of. I get anybody who's been on, on my personal Facebook page knows I get drunk and I occasionally go on there. And I don't say anything offensive. If anything, I'll go on a rant and call and say something like Mickey Mouse sounds like he got hit in the nuts. Stuff like that. Um, pretty much me here on the show, except I'm drunk. So it's funny. Um, I do try to delete it. You know, because it's, it's I, own a, I own a store. I have a show here. Um, Whereas me, I own a business, but I just don't give a fuck. There were, well, I have <laughs> kids that come in here. Um Case in point, there was an, I won't mention any names, but there was an incident on one of my posts last night, or the other day, that I, I did a Facebook review of Ghostbusters, and it got way politically out of control. Um, people saying hurtful things, 
uh, things they shouldn't be saying uh, to each other in person, alone on my page. So I had to delete it. Um, I had to talk to both individuals. I had to, you know, one guy, um, you know, uh, apologize for putting me in an awkward spot, and he said why he said what he said. I had to explain to him why I had to bleed it. I went back to this other person, and I told this person that, you know, the same thing, that, you know, hey, I had to delete that. You, you know, I don't care if you want to talk bad about each other. Message each other back. Or don't do it on my right. page. Because right. I have customers and who if, read that page. If you have, have something to say to the show. Who if, if you have something talk. derogatory to say to someone, <clears throat> It can be said in private. Yeah. Even I think Twitter has private messaging too, doesn't it? So does Facebook. Yeah. Um, there is I, no reason to put it out there for the world to see, for the world to gang up on this one person. This, and, and, it, and that's exactly what it wasn't just one or two people saying, hey, your movie sucks. Hey, you're a bad comedian. You know, you're not funny. It was a, a floodgate. It had was been a opened. gang of individuals. Yeah multiple individuals who ganged up on this woman with hurtful intent uh, to, I mean, to make, and they were out for blood. I, I mean, go and read, if it's still, if it's still open to read, read these. These are hurtful. These are, I mean, this is ridiculous. We're supposed to be, a, you know, we, we can't evolve from. And people wonder why or wonder when we're going to be visited by extraterrestrials we're not as long as we keep treating people like this um you know if, if this mean, is how we treat people, people have asked me why why the change in attitude over you know the last year or so it's because my eyes have been open i've seen how people have been of all races my, you know, black people women haven't been treated oh and it's gotten worse so yeah my eyes have been opened a little more um and my attitude has changed toward, towards certain things. I am a little bit more careful about what I say. Make, call me getting old. I'm going to be 37 at the end of the year. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'm maturing a little bit. You know, because um, I really, at the beginning, uh, back at, especially, you know, five, ten years ago, I didn't care what I said. If I hurt your feelings too bad, that's the truth. You can't take the truth, you know. And I'm still that way. But now it's more... Um, it's more to the point of the situations at hand now. I mean, I, I, yeah, but that makes any sense. Um, but you know, if this is how we're treating our own, our own species, you know, how are we going to treat? If some extraterrestrial life form comes to our planet, how are we going to treat them? Like they did on Alien Nation. I mean, it, that's pretty much what things. That's pretty much what things would go back to. It would be, you know, um, I civil rights true. movement all over again, only this time with humans versus aliens. You know, if they're, if they come in peace. You know. um, I don't know, I, anal probes. I think that's their way of saying, hey, how you doing? Anyway. Good night, everybody. Well, no, no. I, I, well, I got I, one more thing here, and I know there's pretty much zero percent chance she's watching or ever going to watch. Uh, Leslie Jones, uh, I, I I hate the I hate to be on behalf of everyone. You know, sorry that's something you had to go through. That's something you should never have to go through. Um, again, you know. You feel you had to leave Twitter. I completely understand. Maybe being off social media with those kind of hate mongers is something you definitely needed to do. Um, we, I hope you come back um, to show that you're better, stronger than them. Um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Live a little longer. Um, don't stop acting. Uh, don't stop doing what you do because you love. I mean, I can tell you can love what you you love what you do. Um, you always have a welcome place uh, in uh, w with us. Where, I mean, uh, not only here on the show, you can come on the show. That'd be awesome. But I mean, as far as you know, us watching, I, I don't think we'd be able to accomplish. It's hard enough 
getting both of us in screen. Yeah. <laughs> as awesome as that would be. <laughs> um, but, I mean, you've, again, my eyes have been open since the controversy of the Ghostbusters movie to your work. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep an eye on you as well. As far as your work goes, I hope I wish the best for you. Um, again, sorry you had to go through all that. I know personally um, kind of what you went through. Not so much. I mean, I have been racially bashed by black people in high school. Um, short bashed. You know, I don't know if you've noticed because I'm short. Shannon, because, you know, he's been bashed because, you know, he's not the prettiest guy in here. I've been bashed in high school. I was five foot three, weighed two hundred pounds in fifth grade. Five foot three, five hundred pounds? Two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. In fifth grade. Wow. So um, um, I came from a lower middle class family in an upper middle class school. Yeah. Mount Zion. So I mean not trying to put us in your shoes, you know, because I mean the racially charged hate of those texts is nothing yeah. we never compared anything to that we probably won't because unfortunately because we're white um i'm not saying we're privileged we're definitely not but i mean there is that mentality in the media that's being put out there and it's sad uh i can't feel what you're feeling i don't you know i can't say i don't know what it's like to be stereotyped i can't say i you know, I've been harassed by the cops, not to the extent of recent events. So, um, but just stop, people. It's, you know, and again, if you're one of those people that were on Twitter, go. We don't want you. We don't want you here. And our, we don't want you to comment. We don't want you to like. Just, you know. In fact, let me, let me put this out there right now. This is supposed to be a very a very friendly show we joke very we friendly, tease each other fun. and of course they if, have to if do you something want like this if anybody if you want to put hate troll comments or whatever in our videos you're going to be blocked immediately i don't care what you're trolling i don't care if you're trolling a movie if you're trolling one of us if you're trolling an actor or whatever trolls will be blocked and deleted immediately when when I get uh, I bring up wake up in the morning turn on my computer I've got two monitors I got my laptop I've got my TV monitor that sits next to my computer I have Facebook on one I've got YouTube on the other I keep it up all day long until I, until I go to bed as soon as something pops up I can see it if I think you're being a troll you will be deleted I was gonna say we don't we don't want, that's not saying we don't want, you know, conversations about the topics that right. we have, as long as they're non hateful, as long as you stay on topic. Um, it, you can debate. We don't, we don't mind debates. Yeah. Friendly, non hateful debates. Don't go calling, you know, this person, you know, a name. Don't go putting this person down. Won't be tolerated. In fact, again, I reiterate, if you want to do that, we come on the show. Come on the show. We're not threatening to beat the shit out of you. We want you to have the balls to say what you want to say right here on the show. So that way everybody can see how much of an asshole you look like. Plain and simple. And hey, who knows, maybe you'll turn our, you know, turn our heads and go, oh yeah, you're right on that. Probably not. But you know, hey, there's that, you know, chance. About as much of a chance as, you know, me growing tall. But, you can wear platform shoes. That's true. So, on that note. Um, but, you know, you you could also have surgery to where, you know, they do that with little people. You know, that's true. Grafts on your bones. Um, so, yeah, for us to have to do something like this on the show, I don't like to do it. I'm, I'm happy to do it to, you know, to support Leslie Jones uh, in this in this time that she's going through and um, to support had 
to support Leslie Jones on Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag love for Leslie J. Yeah. All um, one word. All one word. 